You've probably heard of ChatGPT, maybe even open it once and then stared at the screen thinking, now what? <laughs> and I get it. On the surface, it kind of feels like just another Alexa or Siri, something that gives you quick answers when you ask it a question. But ChatGPT, this is something completely different. In this video, I'm going to show you what ChatGPT really is, how it works, and how you can actually use it, even if you don't consider yourself a techie person. And by the end of this video, I think you're going to be saying, Holy cow, I had no idea I could do all that. So let's start with the big question. What is ChatGPT exactly? Well, first, here's what it is not. It is not a search engine. It's not Siri or Alexa. And it's not some gimmicky chat bot that just spits out canned answers. ChatGPT is a type of artificial intelligence called a language model, which basically means it's been trained on a massive amount of text from books, websites, and articles. It doesn't look things up on the internet like Google. Instead, it generates answers based on patterns and relationships it's seen in the data it's trained on. And unlike traditional software like Microsoft Word or Excel that run on your computer, ChatGPT runs entirely in the cloud. So when you type something in, you're sending your message to an insanely advanced AI brain in the cloud that does all the heavy lifting. So think of chat GPT like this. It's not just a tool that gives you facts. It's more like a super smart assistant who reads millions of pages who you can have a conversation with on just about any topic and get answers within seconds. And here's the part that most people miss about chat GPT. They treat it like a tool. They give it a prompt. It spits something out and that's it. And that is not where the magic happens. The real power comes when you treat ChatGPT like an assistant, someone you can collaborate with, someone you can coach and give feedback to and refine and adjust until you get exactly what you need. So here's a quick example. Let's say you ask ChatGPT to write a short welcome message for your website. It might give you something that, you know, it's okay, it's polite, but it's kind of bland, kind of boring, kind of corporate sounding. But then you say to ChatGPT, please make it more conversational or please try again, but make it sound more confident or please shorten it and keep it under 50 words. Suddenly, instead of just using the first thing that chat GPT gives you, which might be better than what you had, you have a back and forth where you can shape and mold your welcome message until it really resonates and it sounds exactly like you. And that's the key. So let's talk about the difference between the free and the paid version of ChatGPT and whether you even need to pay for it. And here's the good news. You do not. You can try ChatGPT right now completely free by going to chat.openai.com. All you need to do is create a free account, no credit card required. The free version runs on something called GPT 3.5. And honestly, it's pretty good. It's fast, easy to use, and more than enough to get started. But if you want access to the advanced stuff like better reasoning or fewer mistakes or the ability to upload files or analyze images or even create AI images, then you'll want to get the paid version. That version runs on what's called GPT-4. And just so you know, I personally use the paid version. I've been a subscriber since early 2023, not long after ChatGPT was first released. And I'll say this, dollar for dollar, it is the best $20 I spend every month. But again, you do not need to start with the paid version. You can do a ton with just the free version. But if you ever want more capability, you can always upgrade to the paid version whenever you want. So what can ChatGPT actually do? Let me show you, not with theory, but with some real world situations that you've probably been in yourself. Let's start with personal use cases, the kind of stuff that usually makes your brain hurt or your stomach churn. First, let's say you get a health insurance benefits document. It's like 15 pages of dense cryptic language. You upload that PDF to ChatGPT and ask it, what's covered, what's not, and is there anything I should worry about? Within seconds, ChatGPT will give you a clear, simple summary. No confusion and no fine print panic. Another example, let's say you're cooking Thanksgiving dinner. One oven, four burners, six dishes. ChatGPT can create a step-by-step -step cooking schedule to coordinate everything so everything's done and ready to be served at the same time. And yes, I've personally used it for this purpose. It's magic. Another example, your kid asks, what's the electoral college? And then suddenly you're back in eighth grade civics class drawing a total blank. ChatGPT can break it down like a story with analogies that actually make sense. Now you both get it. Another example, you've been asked to give a wedding toast or a eulogy at a funeral. It's emotional, it's important, and you have no idea what to say. You can just give ChatGPT a few details 
and it helps you shape your thoughts into something meaningful and respectful and exactly right for the moment. Okay, so those are some personal use cases. Let's now talk about some professional use cases, especially if you run a business or work with clients. First, let's say you're trying to explain your pricing or your process, and no matter how many times you say it, it still comes out clunky or confusing. All you do is give ChatGPT the rough draft, it rewrites it so it sounds clear, confident, and easy to understand. Another example, you get a nasty online review and your gut instinct is to fire back, but you take a breath, you don't say anything you'll regret, and then ChatGPT helps you write a calm, classy response that protects your reputation and keeps your emotions in check. Another example, you keep avoiding social media because writing posts is just, well, it's exhausting, even though you know you need to do it. All you do is give ChatGPT a topic and your tone. It'll write three social media post drafts in seconds. You just pick the best one, tweak it, post it, and you're done. Another example, you paste in a long, messy client email thread and say, what's going on here? ChatGPT untangles the back and forth pulls out the key points and even suggests what to say next. No more stress, situation handled. And that's just a sampling. Once you try a few of these for yourself, you'll realize you are just scratching the surface. Now, I know we covered a lot, but just remember, you don't have to learn everything about ChatGPT today. Start with one thing, maybe it's that client contract you've been using for the past 12 years, the one you know needs a serious update, but you keep putting it off because updating it feels about as much fun as getting a root canal. So you let ChatGPT help you clean it up, get that client contract up to date and modernized. Or maybe you've just been seeing people talk about the keto diet and thought, what even is that? So you ask ChatGPT to explain it in plain English and boom, you get a simple, helpful answer without going down a search rabbit hole. The more you use ChatGPT, the better it gets at understanding you and the better you get at using it. And if you're wondering what other AI tools are out there, I made a separate video showing some of the best AI tools currently available for small businesses and service professionals and how people just like you are using them every day. And you can watch that video right here.